This is an audio recording of an old Japanese fairy tale for children up to five years old. The story titled The Hair of Inaba has been voiced by Rishi Gupta for RadhaListen.A11Y. Now, there were once 81 brothers who were princes in the land. They were all jealous of one another, each one wishing to be king. To rule over the others and over the whole kingdom. Besides this, each one wanted to marry the same princess. She was the princess of Yakami in Anaba. At last, they made up their minds that they would go together to Inaba, and each one tried to persuade the princess to marry him. Although 80 of these brothers were jealous of one another, Yet they all agreed in hating and being unkind to the 81st, who was good and gentle and did not like their rough, quarrelsome ways. When they set out upon their journey, they made the poor 81st brother walk behind them and carry the bag, just as if he had been their servant. Although he was their own brother, And as much a prince as any of them all. By and by, the 80 princes came to Cape Kita, and there they found a poor hare, with all his fur plucked out, lying down very sick and miserable. The 80 princes said to the hare, We will tell you what you should do. Go and bathe in the sea water, and then lie down on the slope of a high mountain. And let the wind blow upon you. That will soon make your fur grow, we promise you. So the poor hare believed them and went and bathed in the sea and afterwards lay down in the sun and the wind to dry. But as the sea water dried, the skin of his body all cracked and split with the sun and the wind, so that he was in terrible pain. And lay there crying in a much worse state than he was before. Now, the 81st brother was a long way behind the others because he had the luggage to carry. But at last he came up, staggering under the weight of the heavy bag. When he saw the hare, he asked, Why are you lying there crying? Oh dear, said the hare, just stop a moment and I will tell you all my story. I was in the island of Oki and I wanted to cross over to this land. I didn't know how to get over, but at last I hit upon a plan. I said to the sea crocodiles, Let us count how many crocodiles there are in the sea and how many hares there are in the land. And now to begin with the crocodiles. Come, every one of you, and lie down in a row across this island to Cape Kita. Then I will step upon each one and count you as I run across. When I have finished counting you, we can count the hairs, and then we shall know whether there are most hairs or most crocodiles. The crocodiles came and lay down in a row. Then I stepped on them and counted them as I ran across, and was just going to jump on the shore when I laughed and said, You silly crocodile! I don't care how many of you there are. I only wanted a bridge to get across by. Oh, why did I boast until I was safe on dry land? For the last crocodile, the one which lay at the very end of the row, seized me and plucked off all my fur. And serve you right too for being so tricky, said the 81st brother. However, Go on with your story. As I was lying here crying, continued the hare, the eighty princes who went by before you told me to bathe in sea water and lie down in the wind. I did as they told me. But I am ten times worse than before, and my whole body is smarting and sore. Then the eighty first brother said to the hare, Go quickly now to the river, it is quite near. Wash yourself well with the fresh water, then take the pollen off the sedges growing in the river bank, spread it about on the ground, and roll among it. If you do this, your skin will heal and your fur will grow again. 
So the hare did as he was told, and this time he was quite cured, and his fur grew thicker than ever. Then the hare said to the eighty-first brother, As for those eighty princes, your brothers, they shall not get the princess of Inaba. Although you carry the bag, yet your highness shall at last get both the princess and the country. Which things came to pass, for the princess would have nothing to do with those eighty bad brothers, but chose the eighty-first, who was kind and good. Then he was made the king of the country and lived happily all his life.